back to both of you. You obviously spent a few seasons here together whilst you were at the club. Any memories that stand out from your times here together that you really remember or really reminisce on? I think, yeah, for me, I think I remember um, the obviously the well, the last season I was here when we got to the playoff final was a was a big memory, and then we had a we had a couple of struggles in some of the times I was here. So we had a like the first season we got relegated when I joined from League One, but then we had a we had a good season the next season where we stayed up, even though it was a it was a bit of a struggle. Yeah, that sort of sticks out in my memory. Like David's probably got some, <laughs> some better memories. Yeah, yeah obviously, um, <laughs> had some good times with ten years. Yeah, um, first of all, was the uh, the playoff win down in Cardiff. Um, that's when I come for the youth team. Then obviously got promoted again. Um, I was on the bench at games. So there's some more involvement in that game. The the Newcastle game in the FA Cup um, was a was a big one. Um, especially with my wife obviously being pregnant at the time. So that was a big one for us. Um, they're actually here today as well. So it's it a good family outing. Um, the um, scoring of these um, at a row when we went up there. I think we beat them at home with that season as well. Obviously, there's some, some down times where we got relegated. Um, there's some good times here as well. <clears throat> Obviously, you're a big part of that progression of the Football League. You're still today the, the record appearance holder in the Football League. When you look back at your time there, how, how much pride does that fill you with knowing that you're still the lead record holder for the Yeah, it's massive. Obviously, um, the, the club wasn't in the Football League as much, so that the players who have played more games than I have. We've been in a conference and lower league, so Football League record holder is, is a good privilege. Um, I think it, I know Scott Brown was close to it when he was here. Um, uh, but obviously it'd be a, a big task to, to overtake it, so I'll keep it for quite a while. Yeah. And Josh, in that 2012 playoff uh, final, you got to you actually play in those games, didn't yeah. you? Is that yeah. probably one of the things that you wish you had done last year? Yeah. You played a lot of games oh, in that season itself. Yeah. So definitely. For me, it was I played, yeah, I think 40 games, 42 games I did in that season. And, and I did my knee ligaments in the last game of the season at home. Brad, Bradford, I don't want to say, yeah, yeah, Bradford. So, um, so yeah, it was a that would, would have been a great way for me to, to, to well, you know, maybe if we'd have won the playoff final, maybe I would have, maybe I would have got another contract. But it would have been a great way to sort of, you know, for me, I never, I, I was involved in five playoffs as a player, and uh, and I, I never actually <laughs> appeared in a final. So, um, so that would have been would have been great for me, yeah, definitely to finish my career with that. But yeah. unfortunately, not. Yeah. For both of you to be back here today, how much are you looking forward to getting <coughs> getting back and reminiscing with everyone connected with the club? Yeah, the it's times again. we um, obviously just started a quick chat out there. It's strange how you know, you sort of forget what the times you had here. So we both looking at Google and seeing what we um, what the times we here happened, just to remind us of the, obviously what's happened and what we achieved here. So it'd be good to be back here see if a lot of the faces that we recognise, which would be good. Obviously the players and things that move on, but I said Russell Milton out in the and the car park already, so there's, there's faces that you recognise straight away. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, it's going to be good. I think uh, Finners still works here, doesn't he? does yeah. a bit. And, and like I say, obviously, um, you played with uh, Duffo and Duffo, you, so yeah. he's manager now. So yeah, there's, I mean, I know him, but I didn't play with him. So yeah, there's, there's people on the staff, like pull into the car park, the guy doing the gates, and you know, so it's, yeah, it's nice to see small faces. It's strange to come back, and it'll be, it'll be, it'll be strange watching, you know, be a, yeah. Tough game for today, obviously a relegation fight, but we played in a couple of those, so yeah, we, we know what it's like. So it'll be uh, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, uh, yeah and this game is the first of what's been built up as three cup finals here at home. Right. Can I show you both for a prediction for what you think the games are going to pan out today? These, these are, I mean, we've played in these, and these are, yeah. these are tight games that no one wants to make a mistake. It's you know the team that can sort of settle into it and. and, and Play their stuff, relax a bit more. Generally, be the team that will come up. It'll be a, it'll be a battle, will it? Yeah, obviously. Like I said, we play these games. Is you got to win a battle before you go and play. And I think Charlton possibly would make it two one, something like that. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't think it'll be high score. I'll say that <laughs> yeah, four three, but yeah, like a one 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 nil, two two one. Hopefully, to Charlton. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.